So in this video, I'm going to show you the basic, basic setup of my VEX V5 here. The first thing you're going to see is I'm running the new V5 motor, which has a servo motor built into it. We'll talk about that later on in functions. Uh, I'm using my black construction screws instead of those gold screws. I'm still running uh, bearing flats on each side of my uh, axle to keep them balanced. I'm using those new rubberized uh, lock collars here instead of the screw on ones do a similar function. So far they've worked out really well. And I've attached my Cortex here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my battery cord. You can see the little push down levers on here. So I'm going to snap it up to the top here. My battery now, you can press on and check the charge, which is nice over the old battery packs. And I'm simply going to hook my battery function up. Now, the next thing that I'm going to have here are my wiring cords. So we can see it looks like an old phone jack. I can snap in here on the side my wires. I'm going to here come over to, we'll go port 10 on this one just because I don't have a long enough cord. So my motors are now wired up. It's really that simple compared to the old version. Uh, the communication cord is going to be a USB-C. So this, I'll be honest, has been a little tricky to get in, especially the right angle, depending on the builds of this. So uh, I've been monitoring my students as they've been doing it. So if you're a student, don't try to break it or force it in there. Sometimes it's a little difficult to get into that USB-C port. There we go. The other end is a straight USB, which gets plugged into the computer. Now, the first time it's going to ask you to update your Cortex, you're going to click, set, click yes. Then it's a simple power off. Once it's updated, it'll reset and then you can hit continue. So we can see as I have a simple motor set up, no sensors or anything like this. So I'm going to shrink this down for now. And I'm going to go up here and go to file a new blocks project. Now I can name my blocks project right here, anything I'd like to. Uh, if you're working in MPS, make sure your students are saving that to the X drive. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is click on this little uh, motor icon here for my setup. I'm going to add a device. I'm going to click on a motor because that's all I'm really running on this one. I put it in port 10, so I'm going to select port 10. You can decide which is your forward, which is your reverse. Uh, you can change out your gear cartridges. I'm not doing that. I like to have my students in camel case. Uh, call their motor left motor, right motor, especially on the earlier setups. And then you simply click OK. That brings up all my motor blocks here. So if we just take a look, I can spin my motor forward. I can grab a simple wait command. And we're going to set it for uh, five seconds, which seems a long time, but I'm going to show you the reason why in a second. So now I'm going to click run on my program. You can see now my Cortex has went, uh, I have to click download, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to save on that project. See, skipped a step there. So we're going to see that downloading here. And then I'm going to click run. And we're going to see that simple gear train here run. Now something else I can do, I can set my motors at a specific velocity. So if I wanted my motor to spin at 100% velocity, I would start my program on that. Uh, and what we can see is my program didn't stop. The reason being is I didn't have a stop motor command in there. So it continued to run even after those five seconds, either stop project or stop program. So I'm going to download. After downloading, I'm going to hit run. We can see that difference in velocity now. That simple gear train is spinning much quicker. It's going to run the five seconds. And now we can see that that program has stopped. I'm going to up this to 10 seconds and re-download it just so I can show you some features on the Cortex here that are worthwhile. So I'm going to click download. And now I'm going to click run. I can go back here, click on my devices. I can click on my motor. And we can see that it tells me everything from my RPMs to the wattage being used to uh, the power in the motor and how many revolutions. You can see here I've done 30 revolutions. Again, 
you can use your, uh, this is like the old debugger windows to actually see what's happening on it uh, with this touch screen model. Now that's one way to run a motor. Another way to run a motor, uh, I'm gonna keep my at 50% uh, now changing my velocity. You can use it as a servo motor. So I can do it something as simple as spin my motor forward 90 degrees and then stop my motor. On the old system, you would have had to use potentiometers. Now we can use that as a servo motor. We can see that slight turn. Uh, so it shows up better on camera. I'll do it at 180 degrees. And we'll see that slight turn of that motor. And again, it'll go forward to 80 degrees. Now, the way that's different than spin to a 90 degree position this will take it from wherever you are at and spin it nine or 180 degrees forward. This one will spin on that zero to 360 degree uh, axis. It'll spin it to the exact position of 180. So if I'm already at 90 and I put 180, it's only going to spin it another 90 degrees. So again, I'll download this and run it. And again, we can see that motor spins. So basic setup. The one thing, remember, I'm going to show it one more time. I'm going to go back to my right motor for 10 seconds, just so we can see this a little bit clearer on the camera. On this simple setup, I'm going to run this. I can come to my interactive, the backspace to get there. I can go to my devices. I can select my motor and I can see everything from my revolutions to my wattage to my um, power my gear ratio that I have set up in this which is really good and really useful for all the other sensors when I run the program now you're going to notice this program hasn't stopped because I haven't put a stop motor command on there uh, I did this again so we can just see this so I hope this helps on just a basic gear train uh, gear train setup and an intro on how to get use your new VEX V5 uh, brain cortex